Hello, everybody, and good morning. It's Friday, and you know what? It looks like storms again for some of us. Others, a big-time cool-down in store. The latest in your forecast begins right now. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks to you and thanks to my fine sponsors at Robert Gibbons Sons. We start the morning out with a chance of some scattered showers and thunder across our northern counties. One or two of those may be potent, but the risk of severe mighty low as we start the day out. Now, as we go through, we're going to see, pardon me, as we go through time, we're going to see these storms continue to skirt their way off to the east throughout the uh, afternoon and into the morning hours. And as we do go through, they will exit. The activity you see here, not severe as we go through the midday hours, but in the heat of the day, with southeast winds out ahead of this cool front that's pushing its way in. We'll lace the atmosphere with energy and once again and these storms that fire up, boom, right here, mainly south of the valley and also out into central Minnesota is where the risk will be a little bit greater. But that's when we will hit that risk stage from 2 to 4 in the afternoon from the valley and points east, these storms will quickly move off to the east. What you see back here, not necessarily severe, as temperatures there will be considerably cooler throughout the day. But a very good chance of all modes of severe weather possible from the North Shore and Duluth all the way through portions of northern and western Iowa as we head into the evening hours. Behind it, a cool down is in store. So here's what you need to know with regards to your forecast as we start the day out. We're talking about temperatures this morning near 70 degrees cooler though substantially by over 10 degrees in parts of northeast montana and northwest north dakota you will peak near 60 degrees there with that northwest wind behind the front the rest of us here in the valley and point south notice a rapid drop in temperatures from the devil's lake basin and parts of the cheyenne river valley down into the red river valley where we're pushing those 80 to 90 degree readings again this is where those storms have that greatest risk of potentially being severe so what about the rest of the forecast period as we head through your weekend it looks much cooler on saturday thanks to those winds will be in the 70s 88 as the heat returns on sunday that will lead to another chance of some strong to severe storms as we go through the forecast period on your monday and on your tuesday now taking a look at our risk for smoke in the area yes you can bet it's going to return too as we go through the late part of our day today and into the night so go ahead and look at the uh, smoke at the surface in this particular model and as we go ahead and get through the time period here through the afternoon, you'll see that from the north, these uh, thick, dense smoke will be pushing into northern Minnesota and parts of western North Dakota and swirling around the backside of that cold front, mixing down to the surface throughout our entire area as we go into Saturday. So from Friday afternoon through the majority of Saturday, most of our area will have unhealthy Air quality for many of us. Keep that in mind as well. Now, you can get the latest on your forecast anytime, anywhere by checking out HutchesWeather.com. And over there on HutchesWeather.com, please check it out. And let me know what you think about the what, most recent weather kid. Again, my weather kid this week was, um, pardon me while I pull up the right graphic. Uh, Got to throw it out to Emmy Michael Bus for doing a wonderful job. Go ahead and watch the video on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel. Drop a comment for Emmy and tell her what a swell job she did. And if you're interested in signing up, head over to HutchesWeather.com. That's where you can sign up for your youngsters to help Hutch figure out the wild weather. Thank you for the over 68,000 followers on Facebook and growing fast on YouTube as well. Love to have you. You can watch me on your big screen TV. Make sure you hit the notification bell on the YouTube subscription so you're notified when I have new material. Have yourself a wonderful Friday, and I'll keep you up to date with the storms later today.